So today, I wanted to teach how to play the rhythm and the main riff for Blood Red Summer. Now, the rhythm is pretty easy. We're only using three main power chords. We're using an E, an A, and a B. I'll just start with the introduction. So there, it's just that E power chord. You do that a couple times. Then we're going to reach up to six real quick. And we do that for most of the rhythm. Eventually, and that's when we go into the chorus. But for most of the verse, you're just doing that whole pattern on E and then on A. And once again, A is going to be 5 on E, 7 on A, 7 on D. And then we touch that 4 for one second. And that's most of the rhythm. When they're doing the chorus, we throw in a B. And if you're just the rhythm, that's all you do. You just chuck along. Pretty fun song, has a really great groove. Now, I really want to focus on that. That riff that's going on through it, that's just a lot of fun to me. If you know your modes, which I talk about a little bit in other videos, this is based on an E Ionian mode. Those are all the notes you're going to be using in this. Now, we have to organize them. So, that's just 2 on A into 4 on A. Then you're doing 4 on D, and back to, no, you're doing 2 on D, and then back to 2 on A. So, do, 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 do. 2, 4, 2 on D, 2 on A. Do, 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 do. So we do that little walk twice, and you really should listen to the song to get that groove. It's um, it's a lot of fun. Do, 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 do. Then we repeat it one more time. Do, 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 do. Next we're going to touch the four, and then you're going to play open A. Four on E, two on E, open E. So, so far we have Next, we're going to stay in that same sort of field. And we do that twice. That is open. All this is on E. Open. Two. Four. Five, four, two, open, no, two, four, open. I want to note you're muting this whole thing 
because you have to have a certain amount of crunch. And if you play softly and mute it, so we do that twice. That's the whole verse. Two, four, two, 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 four, two, 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 four, two, two, four, open, four, two, open. You want to do something like that. Now, right before it goes into the chorus, there's a little guitar riff as well. It's... And that is on your E still. Four, five, seven, four. Then we're going down to our A, and we're just going to do a chromatic walk down, starting on seven. So, seven, six, five, four. Yeah. I hope you're with me so far. None of this is terribly hard. It's just a great, groovy song, which is um, odd for... The whole band is... I love them. Uh, there's nothing else I can say. They're so interesting. Now then, run the chorus riff... So that's going to be two on your G, two, one, then we're hitting four on D. Let's walk through this. Two on D. One on D. No, G, my bad. Two on G, one on G. Four on D. So, two. So pay extra attention to that, especially. Two, 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 one. Four on D. Back to one on G. Then we're going to the two on D. So two, four, one, two. Okay. Two, one, four. Next, we're doing a walk up our scale. Starting on the two on A. So two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. Two, four, A. One, two, four, D. One, two, G. Next. I'm just alternating two picks on the five on our B, then four on our G. Uh, 
those are just two notes out of your E chord if you want to get like technical with it. And that's the chorus riff. So. Now the very last thing I want to go over is that whole What did I do to deserve riff Which is a lot of fun We're going up, way up here So that is starting on 9 on the D 9, 11 Then 9, 11 on G then 9, 10. Then back to 9. Then back to 11 on D. 9 on D. So, starting on D. Two, 9, 11. Next string down. G. That last bit, we're on the 11 on G. Hit it twice. 11, 9, 8, 9, 11, 9. Then we're going back to grab the 9 on the D. And that's most of your song. The only thing I didn't go over was when it starts the chorus. And when the answer that you want is in the question that you stay, come what may, come what may, and when the answer... So basically, when you start the chorus, we're going to that B, then we're going to A, then we're back to that E. And that is pretty much the whole song. If you like this video, if you like more lessons, if you like Coheed and Cambria and want to learn some of their songs but realize there's no lessons out there, leave a comment about what you want to learn. If you enjoy my content, I post a video every Tuesday. Please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you enjoy or what you would like to hear. Then I'll keep doing these types of videos, or I'll just do whatever random stuff. At this point, actually, probably much earlier, I'm going to take a picture of this and put it up. I have horrible handwriting, and I realize now it probably should have been bigger. So we'll, we'll toss, we'll do that in post. Anyway, my name is Richard Durazo. Please like, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell if you enjoy this content, and would like to see a video. I do one every Tuesday. I'll see you all again soon.